Let's make art together until the keep on painting. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Keep On Painting. I am Shrey Parohit and this week I'm going to investigate what is art and how to get started. So let's go. Art as defined by the dictionary is, and I quote, the conscious use of imagination in the production of objects intended to be contemplated or appreciated as beautiful, as in the arrangement of forms, sounds, or words, end quote. Isn't that beautiful though? Objects intended to be contemplated or appreciated as beautiful, regardless if they are visual forms, sounds, or words. To me, what I understand from that definition or how I synthesize that definition for myself is a way one human communicates through the use of objects, sounds, or words to really express emotions and interactions they have had with the world. Think of those cavemen thousands of years ago. What made them draw those images on the walls? What made people make paintings hundreds of years ago? What made the Impressionists paint the way they did? What made the Abstract Expressionists paint the way they did? What made the Dadaists create the way they did? There's only one way to find out. is to create art, is to create art, share, communicate, and continue the legacy of the artists that inspire you. When people say that X, Y, or Z artist is a genius or self-made or really original. I like to think of the Austin Clenon quote where he says, if you steal from one artist, they call you a copycat. But if you steal from 40 artists, they call you original. And to me, that is the beauty of art. Really synthesizing, taking in, taking in inspiration. Thinking of the art machine and self as the art machine. Just soaking in inspiration from the world, whatever it may be. Whether it's the people in our lives, the conversations, the light, the stories taking all of that in and synthesizing it and producing an object or arrangement or sounds or words to communicate what we are feeling at those moments. There is a quote by a famous artist who I cannot remember their name right now. But it goes by create art is made by imperfect people. 
And to me, that really explains the crux of art. The crux of art is to make it and share it. And then you die. <laughs> you make the art, you share the art, and then you die. Sad reality. <laughs> and that mortality, or the reminder of mortality, underscores my work in every painting. And I really approach every painting as if it was my last. Because one day it will be. I just won't know which one it will be. So I give all my paintings all the love I can give them. Because to me, communicating to another human is much powerful than just communicating to myself. Because what is life, if not just a series of communications punctuated with food and joy and laughter? And then death comes to all of us eventually. So what can you do now, now that you know that we're all going to die? or you have been recontextualized with we are all going to die. So I like to think of this artist slash writer Beth Pickens. She has a quote that says an artist is someone who must make their art in order to process life, end quote. To me, that is art making, is art making, art making to process life, art making to document life. Beth Pickens has a really good series of books that I would say that I would recommend you read. The first one that I definitely you must read is your art will save your life. That book, when I read it, maybe four or five years ago, changed my life. And everything has been so different ever since. So read that book, come back and continue this conversation of Keeping on to paint. So now that we know that art is made by imperfect people and that art is a way to process life, can anyone really tell you your art is bad then? No, they can only receive the communication. And that should be your goal, that people receive the communication, regardless of however they interpret it, good, bad, ugly, I don't care. As long as you get the communication, as long as you get the communication, as long as you get the emotion I was trying to express, it doesn't, I don't care if you hate it. And I think as an artist, you need to slowly develop a thicker skin. A thicker skin to deal with the naysayers, because they will be many. There will be a lot of people who think of themselves as the art critics, who have not even created any art, okay? So don't take anyone else's word for it. Take my word for it. I create art. 
you can too. I believe in you. And I extend that belief in you like so many people believed in me without knowing me. The world of podcasting and YouTube and this information age is so great because we can all be inspired by other humans doing crazy things without having to know them. And in a way that is the duty I am doing and giving back here because I got from this internet community and I am what I am because of the internet community. So I have to give back. It is my duty to give back. So this week I'd like you to just get started. Make five pieces of art, five individual pieces. Just get started. Take away the pressure that it needs to be X, Y, or Z. Just make it, make it imperfectly, make it unfinished, make it the way you want to make it and try and try and try and you will get there. I started seven years ago with a pen and pencil in my hand or pen and a book in my hand sketching every moment I got, sketching everything I saw. And I want you to try to do the same. Draw everything you see, anything you see. Draw your world like it's your diary in your sketchbook, draw everything. And I promise you, as you flip through those sketchbooks a month later, they will be visual indicators of what your life was and how that practice has made your work better. And slowly from that sketchbook, move on to paints and other mediums and explore. Maybe painting is not your medium that you like best. Maybe ceramics is, maybe piano is, maybe the guitar is. You won't know until you try. So I encourage you to try. To dedicate yourself to your craft. It's okay if you didn't go to art school. You can join the art school of the internet. The art school that learns and communicates because all of art school that I really got from was really running behind my teachers and running and learning from my peers and synthesizing that and doing my own work on the side, own creative work. So create, just, just create, create like the artist you like to see the art, create like them. Don't plagiarize them. But learn from them. See the way they see the world and see what you can learn from them. Take what you like, leave what you don't like. And create the art. Life is too damn short to not share, create and support other artists and art makers. I want to thank the people that support this podcast on Patreon. I really appreciate your support, Adelia and the Purohit Family Foundation. Thank you. I greatly appreciate also everyone who's bought my art 
ever. I've been selling art for the last seven months now and I love my patrons. If you are one of them, thank you. I love the hell out of you. Thank you so much for supporting my art. You really make every other art I make possible. Thank you. Support a living artist. Or supporting a living artist is the greatest karma you can get. So I encourage you, support your fellow living artists and spread the joy, spread the art, spread the hope. Okay? And don't forget success and the secret to great painting is to keep on painting <laughs> keep on painting okay don't forget keep on painting Bye. let's make art together until